<laughs> well, for me, the interesting thing was this book started a few years back, but we had done a prior book that had poetry, and it was sci-fi poetry that Chuck and yourself wrote, mm -hmm. and I did the images for, and that was uh, maybe four years ago or so. Mm -hmm. And then in the course of seen each other several times and then her commenting, Gail commenting about the artwork, uh, I think it was just a logical progression there for, to go yeah. from that into a, a book that was both uh, her poetry and my imagery. But I initially started off with the Glass Table Collective um, not knowing where it was going to go. They would come to my studio and meet and sit around <laughs> in a table and argue <laughs> endlessly <laughs> about everything <laughs> and as you know about writers they're all sharp and quick and I would just sit there <laughs> like this is amazing <laughs> they're all in my studio sitting at my table <laughs> and they all have like different views of different things and they trash people they talk about <laughs> writers they you know just everything you can imagine I really enjoyed it <laughs> That to me was, was a highlight. Usually on a Sunday or a Saturday, they'd come to the studio and just start talking about books. And before you knew it, there were over 40 books with my covers from the right. different writers mm -hmm. that are a part of the glass table. Mm -hmm. So, and then... It, <laughs> then it was, okay, I'm a reader myself. So, okay, I have to read these books <laughs> <laughs> as well. And some of them are just funny, you know, really, truly funny. Others are very serious and dense. So you get this big range. But for me, it kind of just feeds me visually uh, to produce a body of work like that. It comes easy after reading their books. So for me, I take a lot of my influences from pop culture, uh, the book prior to this one was based on sci-fi movies that I grew up with, which were mostly the 50s and 60s uh, films. They took those lines, Gail and Chuck, and assembled them as poetry. And in my own work, I kind of do what I think of automatic writing. A lot of times, they initially start off with maybe a, a slight idea, but then it shifts and changes, and then there's something anew for me. So in that book of poetry also that uh, we had worked on, a lot of my imagery that I was doing had a very kind of very B-movie, sci-fi sensibility. And she even crossed over when she mentioned the toothbrush. Because <laughs> there's, a, there's a line from a movie called This Island Earth where this man tells this woman, are you okay? She goes, yes, are you? He says, I feel like a brand new toothbrush. It's <laughs> 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 poetry. <laughs> so all of these kind of lines kind of sneak into my body of work. Uh, I was raised on Roger Corman and all of these, you know, bad movies, Attack of the Crab Monsters, all of that sort of stuff. So in some way, I draw from that, but also, you know, since I'm a reader from an early age, uh, I took a lot of stuff from writers. And when I saw The Stranger, I go, oh, she's doing something like Camus. So all of a sudden, there's all, <laughs> oh, we're doing this book, okay. Uh, so there's kind of like, uh, I feed off of all of the, the written text that, had, that I get in front of me. I also work with a, a director, his name is Peter Sellers. I'm sure, he mm -hmm. yeah. does opera. And initially, when I first started to work with him, I had met him because I was doing a set for a play that was at the Mark Taper. And we started to talk. He called me up and said, Would you like to do Jean Genet's The Screens? Wow. 
And that's what I said. <gasps> that's an unproducible play. He goes, yeah, that's why I'm doing it. <laughs> I said, it's so long and has so many characters. He goes, yeah, do you know anything about Genet? And I said, well, I was reading Genet's bio the day that the Northridge earthquake hit. <laughs> and in my studio, there's a big crack that goes up the side of one of the walls. And ever since, I've been calling it Genet's Crack. <laughs> <laughs> Peter goes, you're perfect for this production. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to do all the screens. So I did all the screens. Then I get another call, would you like to do Stravinsky? I said, yeah, sure. Then he calls again, would you like to do an opera? So all of a sudden, this relationship and collaboration, quite like this, and with the glass table people, writers, uh, you feel comfortable that you are learning because each time you say yes, for instance, to Peter, it means, well, he'll say, take six months out of your life for yeah. this production, which means take two years out of your life <laughs> <laughs> because you're going to be doing a lot of reading and a lot of research. So for me, that's the fun part of doing productions with him. With The Glass Table, I didn't know this book was going to come about. And I didn't know what it was going to look like or what uh, imagery Gail was going to use. And so for me, it was kind of a surprise. If you notice, there is no abstract kind of imagery. That was her choice. Right. She chose like the more narrative uh, storytelling that I do. So again, it's you allow your collaborator, to, that's her thing, run with it, do it. And that to me is a, in a true sense collaboration in many ways. It, you trust the other person. And so with the glass table, it was like, OK, it's like, I don't know what these books are going to be like, but I trust them. You know, they're, they all are really good writers, and they're good at what they do. In fact, I did a drawing book yeah. for the glass table. <laughs> yeah, your novel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so I guess the novel, but it was all drawing. And it was based on a B-movie from the 50s called the giant claw, except mine was called a giant claw. And it's no words. It's just like a language of my own, basically, in many ways. But Gail and Alicia did the introduction uh, for, the, for the book. And it turned out, for me, quite nice. It looks like a pulp <coughs> book, because the paper is kind of cheap. Um, <laughs> but I wanted that. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted it to yeah. look kind of pulp-like. And uh, so that's kind of my background with the uh, glass table and writing with uh, Gail and Chuck and everybody else that's, mm -hmm. that's here.